Here we have the biopsy of the papillary polypoid lesion of the larynx and it consists of arborizing papillary projections with uh, thin fibrovascular cores lined by non-keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium. The stratified squamous epithelium is bland without any cytonuclear atypia. We can appreciate a nice maturation toward the surface. Uh, the fibrovascular cores uh, consist of uh, thin walled capillaries, slightly hyperemic. Uh, then we have the fibrous tissue and sometimes we see some inflammatory cells. Uh, so here we have some plasma cells and uh, lymphocytes mainly. Well, in some parts, usually superficial, we can find what we call coilocytic changes. And that's, for example, here. Here we have um, the keratinocytes with slightly irregular nuclei uh, with clear halo around the nuclei. And those changes are commonly associated with HPV infection. So this is the squamous papilloma um, <clears throat> associated with HPV low risk infection, usually type 6 and 11 uh, types are responsible for, uh, for the development of squamous papilloma in the larynx. In this part of the picture, the, <clears throat> the stratified squamous epithelium is slightly hypertrophic. And again, in this part, you can see coilocytic changes with slightly irregular hyperemic nuclei and clear halo around the cells. All right, thanks for watching.